Oh my god. Okay. We're faster? This should hopefully oh cow. It does not oh cow. Uh, and oh! Oh! No, 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 What is that ability? No, 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 What is that ability? Oh my god, who has that ability? Oh my god, she gave it to me! She just gave it to me! Oh my god, she just gave me the stab changes! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Saga Lock. In today's episode, we will be taking on our girl, Namona, as, you know, this is the final battle of the Victory Road story. Uh, let's get this show on the road and start with Namona. That's where we got to start. And that's where we're going to start, okay? Um, Goldingo decided to learn Salt Cure. Which is a great move for us. We stand him for that. It's just whether or not he can stand and take hits long enough to make Salt Cure usable. Because if I'm not mistaken, I have to be out on the field for Salt Cure to happen or to work. We will be cross-checking that information, but it's fine. Ah. Uh, Nimona. Here we are. The place our first battle took off. Any second now. Ah. There you are, John. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all of these folks here seem ready to watch the uh, word got round, I guess. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. The stage is set. It's all, it's my all out power versus your strength in full fruition. See who comes out on top. We are challenged by champion Namona. <sighs> Tad Bulb. I don't even know what you are, what type you are. Finally, the thing I've been waiting for all of this time, the greatest battle of them all. Let's get that speed up using protect strats already. We see you, Namona. We see you, we see you, we see you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Tad Bulb protected itself. That's fine. Tad Bulb can do that. Going for double protect, but missed. Understandable. That is a okay. Detect again. No, we're faster. And it did not detect again. Don Dozo. Staying in. Could be a dangerous move to stay in on Dondozo, but we're gonna take that risk. We're gonna heal up. Oh my god, that does no damage. Let's see if we can get a flinch. Oh my god, we got a miss instead. We got the second worst possibility here. Don Dozo is no joke. They did 50 damage, as I said that, but Don Dozo seriously is not a joke. We can we have to take this tough. This is not gonna be easy. Going for solar beam again. We hit the rock slide. Are we gonna get the flinch since it, it counterbalances the miss? No. No. No, we're not. That's okay. It's okay, Namona. I like this strategy I have going on, which is the heal, like, half the damage it did to me, and then try and flinch it. 
so far a good situation for us. It is going to probably... Oh, boy. Leechy Berry up attack. And it used Inferno. And it missed. Okay, I think, I think this is where I go for the flinch. If we can get the flinch here, it'll be perfect. No. Inferno, that's going to hurt. No, it, it didn't. But we got the burn. That, my friends, is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Inferno's the 50% accurate move, isn't it? I think it is. Okay, what I'm going to do is full restore. Cure the, cure the burn. Heal myself up. Hope it goes for flame or uh for uh solar beam. Because if it goes for solar beam, then we're in a perfect such situ situation to stay. Yes! That was the perfect situation. Let's go! Let's go! Perfect situation. Okay. Great. That was grand. Lichen rock. We're staying in 100 percent It doesn't matter what lichen rock form it is, we Oko it, I think. It's Lycanroc Dusk, which is the slowest one. Sets up an Electric Surge, which is totally fine by me. Guys, this is crazy, right? Like, we are out here. We're doing the do. We're doing the thing here. And, like, it just kind of seems... Wow, we didn't even get close to Okoing it. It just kind of seems surreal, right? To think I helped teach you type matchups, and now you're using them to hurt me. Glaive Rush. Ooh, that's going to hit. That's going to hit for some damage. Not much, but it did hit for damage. I'm not getting XP in this fight. I'm just realizing this. I don't know how to feel about that. Because I feel like you should be getting XP for this fight, but you're not. Oh, the, the de this Oricorio is so dead. I'm going to rock slide it to preserve Aqua Step. Poor Oricorio, man. Slow, bro. I guess, to be fair, this is supposed to be like more of like an exhibition match rather than an actual match of like, or a different kind of match. So, well, Slow, bro should also like take a chunk. I didn't think Slow, bro was going to die just because it's defensive. But Lash out. That's the defense lowering move. But that's okay. Because Slowbro does not... Oh, it didn't lower our defense. Why not? Oh, no. That's uh, uh, Fire Lash. Fire Lash. That's the move I'm thinking of. Sorry. Lash out's the one if I dropped its stats, it would be 140 base power. I think that should have healed us up all the way too, which is great. Electric Terrain is gone. And of course, the Watch Roll... TJ Watt, the watch roll. <sighs> Which, I, again, I still wish that it would have actually changed to kill the watch roll. That doesn't change, but... Shine bright. Shine brazingly bright. My greatest treasure. And that's it. That's Nimonagon. You did it! This is legit incredible! You're the strongest out there, John! I mean, you knocked me flat, and I was giving everything I absolutely had! Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever knew! Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time.
now, let's give ourselves a quick minute and have a quick break, John. Before round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Victory Road. Complete. Where do you want to go? Apparently we got something there. Oh, well, hello, Mr. John. How's your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope. Yeah, it's been great. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. Do keep in mind the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of pursuits, there's been something on my mind lately. If I could ask you for your expertise on the matter, it would be grateful. You see, I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does chugi mean? Dog, I don't know what chugi means. I, I don't know. You think I keep up with this stuff? I don't know what Chugi means. Ah, I think I understand. For both the speaker and the recipient, it's not a present word, I take it. These words being used by young people these days, quite often by comparison. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I feel like they're much closer to my students. I'm most grateful to your help on that front. You became slightly closer with the director, Clavo. I got it right, at least. I guess. If, if, I can, if I can count that as an accomplishment, I guess. What are you about to slaughterhouse us with? Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bear anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. You're challenged by area of Team Star. A Sligoo! Hasuian form. Okay, buddy, but, like, no. Okay, Hasuian form, Sligoo. This base is precious to us. I won't let you raid it. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Okay. Wow, Sligoo took that. Sligoo took that. Uh, that is so not good. No, 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 no. Also, coaching, why aren't you trying to... I mean, I would like it if coaching worked so you could raise my stats. I, that would be great, but no. Coaching doesn't work that way. Because coaching is just a pointless move for you. But you know what? The fighting type having coaching makes total sense. I'm, like, not getting experience at all. Iron Bundle? I guess we're going to send into Who Are You Then to take on the Iron Bundle. I wonder, I wonder if the game broke. Because, of course, the game would break on the final episode, right? And not make us gain any experience. Why? It's a Shady Penguin. We stand him. But, like, also, I don't want to kill the Shady Penguin. Gravity. Ugh. I don't like that move. Me no fan of that move. Oko on Iron Bundle? Yeah. 
Iron Bottle is so fast. It's ridiculous. Like, why is he such a fast Pokemon? Pachirisu. Huh. Nolan. Yes, Springside Storm. Uh, not Springside Storm. Earthquake. So, we're going to go for you. I think we have to at this point. We got to go for this. Like I said, I think I'm supposed to be gaining experience, but for some reason I'm not. And that's funny. Because didn't I gain experience against all the others? So you would think that I would be getting some here. Plus a battle with Nomona. Like, you should be getting experience for that too. But I don't know. I might be overthinking it. I'm going to look into it though. Because if I'm supposed to be getting experience, then I'll make sure that I gain the necessary experience. I mean, this episode is going to be edited down anyways. So, like, it's fine. It might not be an hour-long episode after all, but you know, you know. And now we're we're paralyzed and can't move. Great, good job, good job, good job. We we're here for that. We like getting paralyzed. We getting paralyzed is our favorite thing, guys. Did you guys know that? Getting paralyzed is so funny because of course we did. Um, hmm. Patrice, who fainted. We're down for that. We're down for that. What do you have left next? What do you have next? Oink loing. Do we have? Anything for that? No. Of course we don't. Why would, why would we have anything for that? Trudy, I guess. Um, We gotta send out Trudy, I think. Gotta let Trudy deal with whatever we need Trudy to deal with. But... Oikloing! Only did about half damage. Magic room. Is this the one where items do nothing or is the defense and special defense swap? Hell items do nothing. Gravity is changed back to normal. Okay. Power swap. Why has Oinkalane got such a weird move set? Like. Why, buddy? I mean, at least Nasty Plot and then Power Swap so we can get stuff from it. No. Okay, one line's fainted. Aerie sent out Rever Room. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna really hope that she does the uh, the AI thing. Please do the AI thing and go for the fighting type move that you have. All of the Team Star, like their spin out of their torque, whatever, has been the typing of what they are. Aries fighting type, so please go for the torque move. Yes! Oh my gosh. This is why. This is why we added you for that purpose. Okay. Salt here. Not very effective. Stamina. Not a fan of that. Shift gear. I'm also not a fan of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. The secondary effect of... Excuse me? So the, these cars are actually they're um, they're co that 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 explains everything. These cars are immune to the secondary effects of moves. Oh my gosh. That upsets me greatly. I literally made a plan. On how I was going to take down these cars. And I was like, oh, go Dingo had Salt Cure. Learn Salt Cure in between. That's even better. Because Salt Cure plus Baneful Bunker, you know. Really? Like, this 25% plus another 12%. Literally 37%. It would have taken two turns to take this out. Whatever. It's fine, I guess, game. It's fine, okay? Like, I know it's the last episode and it has to be complicated. But, like, why? Excuse me. Like, please... Elaborate on why it had to be that way. I would love to know. I would genuinely love to know. Because, like, 
That is huge information that literally is... Oh. That, that's huge information kept for me right there. Oh my god. I'm upset by that. I am genuinely peeved at the even thought process that that happened. Ugh. Here's the problem. Here's the problem where we stand at now. Is who are you dies to high horsepower? Ugh. I hate this so much. I really do. Because this is taking an all-out risk here. But I think I need to do a, a double switch. Because... If I switch into Cricketune and let Cricketune die and then go into Mama Bear, who is not the greatest of choice either, but I guess I got to look at who's faster, like stat wise. I know Mama Bear's faster, but like 143, 156, and I have Springside Storm that's 100% accurate. So it actually makes the most logical sense for me to sack off Cricketune and go into Nolan. No, Nolan's paralyzed! Then Mama Bear's the best candidate to take a hit. Defenses wise, though, is she? 153, 141. So they're going to take the hit about the same. Or do I let Goldingo go? No, I just don't think I can do that. I realistically don't think I can do that. But Squidward, oh, Squidward has priority. It's resistant priority, though. I don't like doing like this, but sacrificial. We have to be sacrificial here. And you know what? If they go, if they go for freaking um, gr go greedy, I'm uh, that's my fault, and I shouldn't have done it. But I don't think he's gonna go greedy at this point. Okay, I called it right. Squidward lives. Come on, Squidward! You got the plus. You got the plus. You got the plus. You just have to live. You have to live, Squidward. Pull through, Squidward! Oh, Okay, high horsepower did that much damage. Combat Torque is going to do more damage because it's 100 base power versus high horsepower is 90 and non-stab. So, but I actually think I have a legitimate chance of living. It's just a matter of do I play it safe and go for the Acel Rock, right? And that's a very safe play. Or do I risk being able to take the hit right here, right now, and go for the Christ Bison for the kill? Oh! Combat Torque. That did a total of 63 damage. 63 times 1.5 is 90. A hundred. I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it safe. Because if it gets the bad word, then I'm going to be mad that I didn't play it safe. Playing it safe. Oh my god, I should have risked it. I should have risked it. Frick. Oh, speed harshly fell though. Okay, Squidward. 
I cannot believe I'm saying this. You are our only hope, buddy. Oh my God, Squidward. I swear I cannot believe that a cricket tune is pulling through right now. Oh, that was, a, that was a bad word. That was a bad word. No, it wasn't a bad word. But this is okay. Because... You are now slower than who are you? You're reading the spin out is the best possible play. Spin out is normal type move. Who are you? Get back out here. Do your thing. Kill this thing. Oh, this was actually stressful. Oh, okay. Wait. It was a steel type move. Doesn't matter. Actually, is better for us. Thunderbolt and get this Starmobile out of here. Let's go. That was sketch. Very great fight, my girl. That was the sketchiest situation I think I've been in. Squidward, though, pulled his weight in this battle. Because I don't think we would have made it without Squidward. I'm so, so, so sorry, everyone. Squidward! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, Squidward! I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. Y'all the ones who asked us to pull some, some tough battle practices, and so we trained up. Yeah, but truly don't need to apologize, my lady. Thanks to the sage instruction, I'm making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could have never evolved my Pokemon without you, Aerie. Even the big boss said it's a thanks to you that we're fighting chance against our bullies. See nothing but gratitude to us. You're the brightest star in the whole team. Hey, come on. Quit being silly. Just one more thing. We've been training four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Oh, I'm sorry. You should all take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for your health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus, but lately I've been, I feel like I can take anything, no matter if I try, if I'm tired or if I feel like crying. Remember that we, time we all together and rift our, on the gym badges, rift on the gym badges designed to create our very own star badges. Well, I don't know what it is, but I, I just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. And even if, if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want to give you this. I'd like to try a trademark move too. Close combat. Good TM. We'll take it. I am so happy. But I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way you look at your Pokemon with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... Looks like it's all over. Oh, really? The Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier asked... Here, her, I asked her to come along for a talk. So what do you want to ask me? You seem much friendlier term, on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright. I don't mind telling you. The truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took no time, or her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was a queen of the class before she came along, but everyone liked her more than me. So I guess you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once one thrill wears off, they look towards something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I kind of deserved it, but Riri, she chose to help me even though I have been horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it was and she had to have no one on your side. She invited me into even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team had worked out great for us. It had been so much fun. Fun? The rumor that Team Star likewise engages in bullying? After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Oh no. 
I merely. Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. No, 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 no. John, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ares Team Star Badge? Without the, its boss, Cast Squad should be a hair, a hair beateth from disbanding. So Ares was the last. All five squad bosses have been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be attending the class at the Academy. Nice work out there, John. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now, about your reward, John. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 20k LP. We can more make more TMs. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing a whole supply unit rep thing this time. Indeed. You can go ahead and give John his bonus rewards now. Lots of Pokemon materials. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. The only thing left on the agenda, you must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. <clears throat> Don't worry. There's no need to search them out. Their true identity of the big boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. It is I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasure them more than anything. If they got on, if they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. John, I'll be waiting for you at the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I secretly thought it possible. But with this revelation, I might have an inkling on their as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. Battle Cassiopeia. and goes there we go <clears throat> wow I cannot believe we have made it all the way here I don't like I said I don't I think we're supposed to be getting XP which is a problem for me but it's fine Like, I will literally, like, reset. Because they're gonna, probably going to have to anyway to get to Area Zero, because I don't even know what that is or where that is located, so. I think I'm going over the speed limit, guys, but it's okay. Whoa, look at that turn. Let's go. That was a god tier turn. You have to give me credit for that turn. Sup, John. Clive? Yep, that's the name. Actually, no. It's time to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha <laughs> ha. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. You didn't, but that's okay. In truth, the boy you knew was Clive, was none other than the director of Uva Academy, Mr. Claval. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been my giveaway. Regardless, there's still one more thing astonishing, or the I, truth I must reveal. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was in fact me all along. 
That's impossible. Honest to goodness. Have you heard Cassiopeia over the phone? When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh, yeah, it was very clever. So, Master John, you now you know I'm the big boss. And that means there is one thing left to do. Face me in a final showdown to decide it all. Challenge by Director Claval. Starting out with a Gallade. Ooh, that's a toughie. Especially against Trudy, I don't like that. What level are you? I am Casty PF Team Star. And with this battle, I will finally bring an Operation Starfall to an end. Okay, you're not too high of level. Which I guess I can say that's okay. I'm gonna get my speed up though, because I don't trust a Glade. Understandably so. Sticky webs. Oh, you are going for a set of setup strats. I actually appreciate that. That's like something I would actually do. So I can say I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Imagine if we had Moxie on freaking uh, slacking. That would be so. This I say that and Waxalaval actually has it, but you know. Oh no no no! We're getting experience. So we weren't supposed to be getting experience in those other battles. Oh, ghastly. Okay. Good to know. Those were actually not experience gaining battles. That's huge. So we don't even have to. Okay. It's then. Then we're just cutting cutting down for the sake of um, actually like. Okay. Cub Fu. Staying in. I don't even know what type you are, but I think you're a fighting type. Oh, you're the baby form. Okay. Unnerved. Too nervous to eat berries. That's okay. Electric terrain. Wow. Sneasel. I'm staying in. I don't see a reason not to stay in. It's a dark type. We have a bug move. Gooey, nice play. Nice play with the gooey. Dragalgy. That is a mod I don't like to see. I still think I have to be the one that stays in, though. I'm going to go for rock slides, I think. Try and get some pressure that way. Nope. That didn't help. We did not build pressure. We actually did the opposite. Hmm. I think now I gotta go for the salt cure, the salt cure strategy. I hate doing it, and hopefully it'll actually work now, but. Like just to prove the car the car thing. Ah Oh good, it doesn't affect us. Oh wait, are we genderless? Is this Pokemon genderless? Because if it is, that's something I didn't catch. Oh we are! That's cool. That actually works out in our benefit then. Ugh! Okay. It is to protect. Good job. Good job, Dragology. You knew what was up. Okay, go for it again. Salt Cure is like, again, it's a move that will constantly drop. I am burned and then Salt Cure happens. Protect. Uh, so the question becomes 
Does Salt Cure get affected? By me switching. I don't, I think it does, but I still gotta think I go for it and see if it does. Cotton webs, which I don't like. Disarming voice, that's a fairy move. I don't like that either. Salt here still going on? Okay, it does. Cool. That's perfect. I cannot believe this is happening right now. A bomb of snow. We don't even have a fire move on anybody. I'm going to go for Squidward. Squidward is seeing some usage. To think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. So is his name Cassiopeia Clavwell, then? <coughs> that would be actually kind of cool. Okay, we're caught by the sticky web. Which is okay. Our intrepid sword pops off. We gotta hit this. Very well. It seems like I have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. If it's Terra Ice, then that's oof. If it's Terra Grass, then that's a great thing for us. It is. Terra Ice. That is oof. That is very oof for us here. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Do I dare? No, I don't. No, I don't when I have Trudy. Not when I have Trudy here. Trust me, I want to. But it isn't the most logical choice. Oh boy. We need to get healed. And quickly, hopefully. Okay, next move is going to guaranteed hit. But it doesn't matter because it's dead. How strong you have grown. Well now, Master John. Seems you've grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. Because I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself, being the same person, was no lie to you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you in a battle to test your skills. If you had lost, it would have fallen on me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong and as you are kind. And if anyone has a chance to saving that poor child, it surely is you. And as an educator, it, sh it shames me to burden one of my students with a such task. But please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
I leave it all in your hands. You there! What do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Thyme. It's a pleasure to see you. It is no pleasure at all, Mr. Claval. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit, or illicit battle on the school grounds. What And what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, I can explain. You see, it's a sad, rather sad tale. Oh, spatter me with your excuses. Reek worse than a stinky, or a stunky's behind. A stunky's behind? Ahem. Remember, Big Boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Mr. John. You're right. A letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I will be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious. No, no, no. Anything but that, I implore you. We did get healed up. As I expected us to. Time to go to the schoolyard. However one does such action, I don't know. Oh, this way. John. Thanks for coming. Might be quite of a shock for you. Big Boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside of school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me hold as much LP as I wanted, so I decided to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as, you, as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown, and are you ready? Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Miss Time had me... Uh, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it was after a... No, I mean... Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh, I have... I have a task for you. Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so that I can send a video of Team Star. They'll need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name is Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now bow down before an overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Oh boy. Oh, why is she starting out with a legendary? Okay, girl, you were not kidding. But luckily, it is a dark and fire type. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Electric Surge. Ugh. Why? Knock off. Girl literally took my lucky egg and said no. You're not allowed to get experience off this battle. <laughs> no, experience off this battle? What are you talking about? Like, no way. I don't even think we're still faster, but... No, we are faster. Cool. Okay, we gotta utilize the opportunity. Just knock, 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 knock. <sighs> Graphii. Oh, that would have been what Evil Mickey turned into. That's funny. At least we got to figure out and see. I thought that was the giraffe egg. That's why I stayed in. I 
I 100% went. Oh, that's the draft rag. We're cool. Ah! Oh, everything freaking burning, Trudy! Why? Come on. Why? How and why dare we burn Trudy like this? Flinch, 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 flinch. Oh! That stab, that stab, that stab, that stab, that stab, that stab! Trudy! Oh my god! Trudy's hurt from burn! Trudy stayed alive! Nimble. Oh my god! What are you? Oh, you're the low tide thing. Oh my god. That's a fighting type attack. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Baby doll eyes. That lowers our special defense harshly, but it doesn't matter because it's dazzling. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I forgot about that. I guess baby doll eyes has priority. Oh, it must have priority now. It used to not have priority, so. I mean, I'm down for that, but. Scatterbug. That's like the baby. is another baby, isn't it? Yeah, what the heck are you doing with a level freaking die? God. Okay. We're faster? This should hopefully Oko. It does not Oko! Uh, and oh! Oh! No, 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 What is that ability? No, 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 What is that ability? Oh my god, who has that ability? Oh my god, she gave it to me! She just gave it to me! Oh! Wait, why is she Terra normal? Girl, actually tear it into a different type. What the heck? And she has stab uproar. That actually hurts a lot. I am so sorry. I like killed my voice on that last situation. Ah! <clears throat> there we go. It's not even gonna come back for a minute. I think this is the loudest I've been in a long time, but oh my God. I am so sorry, everybody. Holy crap. That was the scariest turn of events. Whew. 
Who has Anger Shell as an ability? Because whoever does, holy crap. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. So you're saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with op uh, carrying it away with Operation Star, <clears throat> and now everything's gone out going out of hand. Yeah. Well, what happens when you go around and up, go when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make make a show of learning him's manners? But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely we did declare our intention to battle tooth and nail. Such a various villain, vill er, nail such should the villains persist, and their tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. Just they just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spoke or spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plans backfired. Uh, uh, epically there's no way we're gonna let or we're getting off scot-free <clears throat> i guess you're right this little stuff might have pulled up a, us up a creek i'll fix this mess on my end just leave it to me what are you saying i'm the one who started as team star i dragged you all into this so i'll take responsibility for everything oh no oh no and kind big boss you cannot now that the bullies are gone you guys should be starting you should start going to school again oh yeah and what about you i can't go back why, there's no reason to, for you to stay shut in your room here anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were also so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why do you think, why are you talking like we're never going to speak again? I need to take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us with thine intent. Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Anger Shell Pokemon. I found this on the web. Thanks to Clive, and thank you everything, Clive, and you too, John. Oh, it's Cloth! Cloth's the one that has it. Interesting. I'm glad I could see through the to the end. I guess this isn't for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to open something like Operation Starfall if you are the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there another way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in our team has the right to order people around. I could just ask all of them to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code again, once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did, and that's why, of course, I could use it to force them to disband. Because the bosses would do everything the code required to them, um, even leave the... Yeah. <laughs> and according to the code, they had to accept the ch any challenges made to them. Thus, the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me think. You ask you one last thing. What did, does Team Star know? What did your friends in the team mean to you? <clears throat> there. They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for appraising me of the situation, Miss Pre Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like. To, I'm very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer at Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal you my own secret identity. To Director Clavewell. Just as Cassiopeia was used was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students tend to shy from speaking their mind to the teachers, after all. Much more so when they're faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Ah, uh, well... That's quite enough for that of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Huh? Yo, big boss, long time no see. Mama. 
more like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Very, verily is thy hidden encounterance a sight of, for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard that your real name is Penny. How have you been this whole time? Forty. We found you at last. I have no idea how worried we... You have no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang. Count to three. One, two... Uh, so, Lavisa, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I've got something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As a director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. I still don't... I mean, why? You told me... You, uh, you all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about the subsequent actions. Ever since my first days of director, all I've ever experienced in the Academy is its environment. Blessed did flurry from bullying. But I know now this piece of built was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and, of course, your immense courage for putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order... If the Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Penny, isn't that great? Oh, my heart's giddy with glee. But I betrayed you all. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clayville told us about it. As far as we heard, only it went through it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chunk the team or chuck the team just in case someone told us or just because someone told us to. After all, a in our style. I can't even imagine how it must have been how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. I'm sorry, but for making you worry, BB, we're all okay now. But even so, hold on, everyone. I've got more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of the Academy equipment, your reckless modification of Jetboard's driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for the school rules cannot be simply overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you'll be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents, and I plan for the Academy to find to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master John battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask you to continue your team's activities, henceforth the STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And then just, and that's the sum of it. Does anybody have any concerns? Um, nope. Sounds like fun. I don't see how this would be uh, anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs were supposed to be a pun to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would be happily, happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together, too! That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We are already taken about how that's great, how great it'd be to have Team Star in our school, in our lives. It'd be a sweet deal for us. So, what do you say? You guys. John, what do you think? I think that sounds great. Huh? Ba -ba. No need to give a response at the moment, Miss Penny. This take, do take time to decide. For now, I think our little group should be, go our separate ways. Ah. Uh, no, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply just... It's my time to leave. Master John, please stop by the office later if you would. On that note, we have to go to the director's office. We have to talk to him, whatever. We'll catch you all in a little bit.